so let us discuss the experiment number nine this is the last experiment of class 11th so in this particular experiment we have to determine the specific heat capacity of a solid and a liquid and the method used here is given the name the method of mixtures if you can see to determine the specific heat capacity of a given solid and a liquid remember these are two different methods these are two different experiments there is a little bit the concept will be same but there is a little difference in determining the value of heat capacity using the method of mixtures right now if you look at the laboratory manual this is the most uh, a confusing experiment right because so much data is there so much measurements are there but if you understand the key concept behind the method of mixtures behind the principle of this experiment it is very easy you just need to find the correct value and put in the given formula so we will first discuss that principle only and then i will take you to the exact phenomena where we determine the heat capacity using uh, the method of mixtures in this particular experiment so first of all you need to recall the theory or the principle what is the principle behind this experiment so it is based upon principle of homogeneity or you can say sorry principle of calorimetry which is basically which says nothing the q absorbed will be equal to q released so whenever we mix liquids or when we whenever we put a hot object inside a cold liquid the thing which have a higher temperature or a hot object or a liquid will release energy its temperature will go down and the thing which is cold like water or whatever given thing will absorb that released energy while mixing and its temperature will increase so there will be a particular value of temperature at which both will come to equilibrium and that is the final temperature of the mixture so remember it is very simple whenever you mix things one will have a higher temperature one will have a lower temperature right so of course you will identify the lower temperature will absorb the heat the higher temperature solid or liquid will release the heat and there will be another temperature t which is final temperature or mixture temperature i hope you understood the point so this lower temperature will absorb the heat to reach this temperature and that higher temperature will release the heat to reach temperature to this so i hope you understood the point there will be three temperatures one will be low one will be high and one will be final mixture right so mathematically what i am saying there is a very simple principle you will have three things you will have a calorie meter its mass and its let me write this mc and its specific heat capacity will be given to you mc sc then there will be some liquid in it let's say this is liquid filled you fill this calorie meter with liquid sometimes you fill it water and sometimes you fill with it with the unknown 
liquid whose uh, capacity you have to determine. So I am writing this as M liquid and its specific heat, heat as S liquid. And generally these two are at low temperature. Generally these both of these two are at low temperature. Generally. So both are let's say at T low or let me just write as T1. Right. So two things. One is calorie meter. His specific heat. Another is the liquid. Its mass and its specific heat. And both have same temperature which is generally low. Now what you do is. You take a solid. This is the some solid. Now it will also have its own mass. Let me write this as M solid MS. And it will have its own specific heat. SS and it will have its own temperature which will, be, which, will, which will be high so basically what we do is generally we put this cylinder in a boiling water so this is the experiment setup you generally put this solid in a boiling water and you know for some time for 5 to 10 minutes so that it will attain the high temperature around 100 degrees centigrade this is the standard thing so what you do is you keep this solid of mass ms and specific heat s in another uh, container which was boiling water at boiling water at 100 degree centigrade until this complete thing reaches a temperature of 100 degree and then you place this thing and then you when it's at this temperature you place this thing inside this liquid this is the experiment so I hope you understood the point what have we done is the solid is always hot remember so when you place this thing in the liquid, it will release the energy and the temperature of liquid is raised and you uh, measure the final temperature. So after some time, you will wait after some time what happens, this liquid will attain After some time, this liquid will attain some temperature and it's, you know, this uh, solid which was at a very hot temperature, 100, will cool down a little bit, little bit and because it will release the energy and that energy is absorbed by that liquid. So the final temperature here is represented by T mixture. Let me write this as T. This is the final temperature of mixture. This will be observed. So I hope you understood there are three things. One is calorie meter another is solid cylinder or solid and third is liquid generally the calorie meter and liquid are in the same temperature but they have different masses and different specific heats and generally the solid thing is at higher temperature generally it will be at 100 only so when you plus this hot solid object in the liquid it will lose energy and that energy is gained by the liquid as well as the calorie meter and you measure the final temperature T. So, so you have three temperatures again one is the low temperature another is high temperature and third is when you mix this low with high you will have a final temperature 
T1 low temperature, T2 high temperature and final mixture. So initial temperature of solid is high T2. Initial temperature of calorimeter as well as liquid both is same as T1. So now let's write the physics behind it. The energy lost by. So the concept is the heat lost by solid will be equal to heat gained by liquid plus container all right so this is the energy loss and if you can recall recall the formula for heat is m s delta t this is the formula we'll going to use here now remember in writing delta t always write from high uh, that it has to be positive here we are writing the magnitudes high minus low remember high minus low so if you can see the solid solid temperature has changed from t1 to final temperature t this was at high temperature and it was a final temperature and for these two the temperature has reached from low temperature t2 to t this was at low end so for both if i write the heat absorbed for solid m solid s solid into delta t will be high minus low will be equal to for that now there are two things the liquid has ml mass and specific heat it is M, uh, sl and container is mass mc and sc so when you write this is ml into sl into t minus uh, now remember for this this is high that is low so t minus t2 plus mc into sc into t minus t2 both are at same temperature remember so i have written both as t minus t2 all right so this is the basic result which will help you to solve both the experiments beautifully now now remember in if you this is called as method of mixtures now suppose if you want to find the first thing if the s of a solid is unknown this is what you need to determine so clearly from here just write as solid your formula will come so in this equation this will be unknown right so basically if i write the first case when you determine the s solid it will be equal to you can see from here it will be equal to ml sl t minus t2 plus mc sc t minus t2 mc sc t minus t2 divided by m solid into t1 minus t you don't have to remember you need to remember just this result so when they ask the specific heat of solid just get the s expression of s directly from this equation and this is very simple ms delta t equal to ms delta t ms delta t right similarly if i want to find the specific heat of uh, let me make it small suppose i want the specific heat for liquid now in this case you have to determine this thing so for that take that expression on other side you will get ms ms into ss now ms and sss will be given so suppose if you want to calculate specific heat of liquid then solid will be given if you want to calculate specific heat of solid then liquid will be given either of them will be given and other will be other you have to take out so ms ss into uh, 
if you can see t1 minus t high minus final temperature minus mcsc this will go there into final temperature t minus its initial temperature t2 upon uh, this mass of liquid into t minus change in temperature of the liquid so these two formulas so i hope both to determine the solid you have to use the same formula to determine the liquid the process is same for both to either determine the liquid specific heat or to determine the specific heat for solids so this is the experiment this is the method of mixtures using which we can calculate the uh, specific heats of solids as well as liquids so let's do some problems based on this experiment to understand exactly how do we solve the questions from the given data